Hello everyone, welcome back, or if you're new and you just happen to stumble across this video because you are looking into things to get for your newborn baby, then hello, welcome, my name is Kate, I've just had my second child called Elliot, he is two months old now, and I thought it was about time I did this video. There is no better time to make this video than when your child is two months old, we've been through the first sort of eight, nine weeks of life with a newborn and we know exactly what is helping us get through this time the most. So I did wonder whether or not to split this video into two because there is quite a lot to get through but I'm just going to try not to ramble too much about each thing although I could talk about them all day but I have split this into categories the first one being the one that you're probably most interested to find out about and that is sleep how do we get our babies to sleep well these are the products that have been helping us the most in the last nine weeks the first thing that we love and we're so glad that we've got is the snooze pod this is a co-sleeper, it attaches to the bed, you can also have it freestanding and then it rocks as well. Um, we have it attached to the bed, you can unzip the sides so that you can um, see into your baby, you can easily access them if you're breastfeeding them or feeding them in the night. Um, and they're right there next to you but they're not in your bed so it adds that level of security that they have their own space away from you but they are right there. and. I couldn't be happier with that setup. You can also get this little pocket that goes on the front that you can store your nappies and wipes and anything that you might need in the middle of the night that you just want to reach for quickly, you don't have to want to run downstairs for. So I would definitely recommend the snooze pod if you're looking into getting a co-sleeper. There's so much more I could say about it, but as I said, I'll be here all day. The second thing that I want to talk to you about that has helped so much that I really didn't expect to purchase, but in the end, I did, um, is the Sleepy Head Deluxe. It looks like this. Um, it's basically a little cushioned mattressy bed <laughs> with um, foam tubes that go all the way around and your baby sleeps in the middle. Now this fits perfectly into the snooze pod. Obviously it's not made for that, but lots of people put it in there and we found it to work really, really well. So after a few first rough sleepless nights, like you should expect with a newborn, I could just tell that he wasn't happy kind of being all spread out in the snooze pod. There's a bit more room when they're so tiny. But I just felt like this would be the perfect thing for him. Now all babies are different. Some will love it, some will hate it. I've heard amazing things about this and now now that we've used it for nine weeks I can't recommend it enough um, it's quite pricey that's all I would say and I was reluctant definitely reluctant to get in it before he was born so I would just I think you can tell what sort of child your child is when they're born like if they're gonna like being snug or if they want to be a bit more stretched out and have a bit more room you'll just be able to tell in the first few days so my advice would maybe be put off buying this until they're here I'm really glad we got it now. It's a bit of a pain to wash because you have to take all of the tubes out and all of that kind of stuff and the um, the, sh the sheets and the, like this is a cover. You can get different covers and they're quite expensive as well. Um, but I would say for a good night's sleep, then you know, it's the best investment that you could make. It's meant to last them until sort of six months. -ish. I think they could stay in it till they're eight months. But our little boy, he is already as long as this and we have to pop open these bits which clip um, so that his feet can come out of the end. So you do have that option but obviously they start to get a bit wider as well and they get a bit, you know, squashed in there. Um, but it will last him for a few more months yet and then I think when he graduates to his big cot we will also invest in the Sleepy Head Grand. So that says it all really, I really really like it. The next thing is a sleeping bag. Now some people will have used these for years, we never used a sleeping bag with Archie, um, but I thought I would give it a go with Elliot and I absolutely love it for lots of different reasons. But the main one is in the middle of the night when I'm feeding him, he doesn't kind of wake up and get cold because I've taken out of his snug little um, bed with his cover on him, even though if it is particularly cold, we put a blanket on him as well. Um, but he's all cosy in this. This one is so soft. It's very padded and cosy. Um, you can get different togs for different weather, so you can get really, really thick ones for the winter, thinner ones that are more like a muslin blanket for the summer, and this one is just your average sort of run-of-the-mill room temperature weather sleeping bag. And just zips up, goes in it, and he loves it. So I definitely would recommend the silent night ones. If you are new to sleeping bags and you're not really sure what one to get, this is definitely a winner. Plus, I really love the print of this one as well with the grey background, white stars and the mint. 
Next up is his Mamas and Papas Slumber Swing in the Forest Friends print and I really really like this, it's not as expensive as some swings, we got this one on Amazon and I will link everything below if you want to go and check them out. Um, we also got the matching bouncer which I'll talk about in a minute, but this swing plays music, obviously it swings and he really really likes it. Um, one thing I would say about it is it's not the most padded of swings, he really likes it and we find that the swing is a good way to get him to have naps in the day if we don't want to put him upstairs. And finally for my little sleep section is the Angel Care monitor, you can probably see it behind me, there. <laughs> and the sensor pad. So we had this for Archie, this is actually Archie's one that we're just reusing. Um, you can get Angel Care monitors with video, you can get them just with the sound where you can listen in when you're downstairs or you're not with them and you can also get the ones with the sensor pad which goes under their mattress and I think it's, for example, I, I'm not 100% sure on this but if there's no, if it senses no movement for 20 seconds an alarm will go off. The only thing I would say is I'm pretty sure that with a co-sleeper, obviously when you're in bed and you're moving around, it's going to sense your movements as well. So I don't rely on this as much as I did when it was in Archie's crib when he was a baby and it was away from the bed. Um, but it does seem to work when we are not in the room or in the bed. Um, so it gives you a little bit of reassurance, but what I would just make sure that you know is if you're using a co-sleeper, it might not be as reliable as it is when they are away from mo any other movement, if that makes sense. On to feeding. Now, I breastfeed Elliot, but I do express occasionally, express, express, express occasionally. Um, and the thing that I've been using to do that is the Medela breast pump so it's all a bit confusing at first and I completely left it alone for the first three weeks and didn't even really look at it because I was a bit intimidated it looks like this this is the single breast pump but it's really imp MP is <laughs> really easy to use and very self-explanatory just obviously read the instructions you sterilize all of this this is the machine that suctions the milk out um, I never thought I'd be talking about breast pumps online. So this has been really, really helpful. Um, I've never had a problem with it. So in the first three weeks, I didn't use it at all. Then after that, Ricky did night feeds for three weeks. So I expressed every single night. And that kind of got Elliot used to using a bottle and to getting used to the bottle and the breast, if that makes sense. So I'm really glad we did it. I, I feel like that was the best point to do it at about three weeks. Um, and now I'm back to only really using it if I have to go out for any amount of time to work or do something and I have to be away from him. Um, but it just means that he's now used to using a bottle or taking a bottle as well and um, can't can't recommend it highly enough. It's been absolutely brilliant. Might do a separate video on breastfeeding at some point if you guys would like to see it because I just don't have time to go into detail in this video but really, really, really recommend it and they do a double one as well. So obviously in the Medela breast pump comes with a bottle and the teat and everything and it's quite a sophisticated teat because it basically mimics how the baby um, gets milk from your breast and it's quite hard for them to, um, the suction on it is quite hard, it's difficult to explain. So Elliot can be quite lazy and he doesn't actually particularly love the bottle that comes with the Medela set. Um, he prefers the Tommy Tippy bottles which is what my first son used who was bottle fed. Um, and these are just really, really good. I mean, you can get all sorts of bottles, ones that help with colic and slow flow and all things like that, but basically, these ones have worked really well for us through two children so far, so I can't not recommend them. Um, and also, while I'm here, I won't go into it in big detail because obviously, I'm breastfeeding this time, but I cannot recommend the Tommy Tippy Perfect Prep Machine if you are bottle feeding. It was a lifesaver for us the first time round. I'll try and find some footage of it, of it but um, I used it in my um, morning routine video years ago with Archie and loved it. So definitely recommend that if you're bottle feeding. And obviously if you are expressing at all, you will still need a steriliser. So whether you're bottle feeding or expressing, I again really like the Tommy Tippy steriliser. But it just does the job, it's a really good steriliser, very easy to use fits lots of bottles in, all different kinds of bottles as well, not just Tommy Tippy ones. And they're often on like a sale or you get a good deal from Mother Care or Boots or Asda or something like that. So I definitely recommend the Tommy Tippy steriliser as well. On to my travel favourites. There really is only one and I'm not joking when I say this is probably 
my favourite thing out of everything. If I had to use one thing, which would be a bit difficult because everything has a different use, I would pick this. Now, we were very kindly sent this before Elliot was born, but I haven't been paid or asked to talk about it in this video. But this is the Doona. I'll show an example of how to use it, but it's basically a car seat and a little pram all in one and um, the wheels just pop out from the bottom and then you just click it into an isofix space in your car I think you can also strap it in with the seatbelt but you don't want to keep doing that because it's not a kind of car seat that you keep in your car you're obviously getting it in and out all the time because it's a pram as well it's like the it's really small and it does take a little bit of getting used to and you know feeling like is this too small because when the handles are down my toddler can push it along and he looks so cute and he loves to do that as well and loves to help but when the handles are up it just looks like a fairly small little travel pram you can get bags that attach to the back and the front because there is no storage like you get in a bigger buggy which is i suppose a bit of a downside to it but I honestly haven't found it much of a problem. We just put a bag um, over the handles and we're off. It's so easy to push. The wheels are really easy to use. I've pushed it around um, like a massive country park, the shops, like anywhere you could go, you name it, I've used it. Um, and oh, I could talk about it all day. I might do a review, a full review on that as well at some point, but I love the Duna. It comes in loads of different colors so easy to put up and down and it's just a lifesaver i'll be devastated when he grows out of it because i love it so much but on to bath time so we knew that this time we were going to have two children to bath a toddler and a newborn which is no easy business when you want to get into a routine and bath them both every night and we found the angel care bath seat it looks like this we also got it on amazon and it has been a lifesaver so we just pop elliot in this next to his brother who obviously just sits in the bath and he'll happily sit in here um there's obviously all of these holes in the rubber mesh so that he can feel nice and warm and splash about in the water but he's safely laying down he looks so comfortable in this and so cute um, and it just makes it so easy for me to be able to wash my toddler but also keep an eye on him i know he's not going to go anywhere obviously i would never walk away from them both in the bath but it just gives you that little bit more security and it means that you don't have to get a separate baby bath and do separate baths and things like that. And to be honest, even if it, this is your first baby, I find this much easier to pop into the bath, fill the bath up with water than having to move around a plastic baby bath. Um, that's just me though, but I really, really, really recommend this and you can obviously also get it in pink. A couple of products that we've been loving as well, I'll just quickly mention, are the Child's Farm products and the La Roche-Posay products. This is the uh, La Roche-Posay Baby Cream Wash. It's anti-irritation and anti-scratching. Um, and Elliot had really bad baby acne to the point where it got so bad I took him to the doctors because it affected his whole body and face and it looked like a rash. So he just kind of reassured me it was nothing bad and said I was trying to leave it alone as much as possible because I didn't want to irritate it but he actually said you know wash his face and body more and also moisturize it more so we have the moisturizer of this and this is the bath wash and I'm not joking within two days of using this his skin was clearing up and now it looks really really lovely um, so I would 100% recommend this and also Child's Farm is quite new to me this is our second bottle both of these are completely empty we use this on Archie and Elliot and they're really nice um, they're for sensitive skin you can use most of the products I think from this one is newborn and upwards and this is the sweet orange scent we've also had one which was for really sensitive skin and for newborns which had hardly any scent they do a really big range so I definitely recommend looking at child's farm um, and this red one is the hair and body wash so two in one really simple really good products that i would recommend for babies and toddlers finally for the bath we have a bath thermometer this is the brother max bath thermometer um they're not the cheapest ones but they're really really good because you can use them in the bath and you can also just use them as a room thermometer so you just tap them like that and it comes on so for example it tells me straight away that the room temperature is 24 and it also as soon as you pop it into the bath it reads the temperature of the water and it tells you again on the top that the ideal temperature um, is 37 so we always try and make it a little bit cooler than this like I said just because Elliot's got sensitive skin um, but it also flashes a red light if it gets too hot so it's really good really accurate and just a really simple way of making sure that the baby's bath isn't too hot or too cold 
Finally, on to my last section, which is on play. I just wanted to briefly mention the Mamas and Papas Buzz Bouncing Cradle, which is also in the Forest Friends print to match the swing. This vibrates and it plays music. He just likes to be in that occasionally. It's just one of those things that's nice to have. It's also really handy because it's very lightweight and easy to move around. I use it upstairs sometimes instead of having to put him in his cot if he's awake, he doesn't want to be in there, um, or bring up the big heavy swing. Just having that is really easy to put them in while you just need to quickly get something done, like do your makeup or something like that. Again, we got that on Amazon, like quite a lot of these things, so I will link it down below if you want to have a look at that or anything else. One of the things that I have got specifically for Elliot is this, which is the little Fisher Price mirror. It kind of looks like a little book and you can do it up. And you can obviously already hear that there's little rattles um, and squidgy, like little toys, parrots. There's a little teething ring in there. And then this part, which they can look at, it's kind of felty and feels nice, different textures. And this side, which is my favourite, which is the mirror. He loves looking at himself, he's very vain. He loves to do tummy time um, when he can look in this mirror. And you also get this little squeaky monkey. And it's just a really nice little toy, I think. Um, most babies would like that as one of their first toys. We also have one of the Lamar's toys. You may know that I have an obsession with dinosaurs. This is Torin the T-Rex, I think it's called. Um, and they're just really nice because they're bright coloured. They also have the black and white so that it's really easy for your baby to focus on. And one of the first things that they can see is black and white patterns. Um, again, teething rings. You can hang it from their pram or their like little play gym. There's ribbons on the back for them to feel. It's just lots of textures, colours, things going on that interest a baby. Um, so I really, really like these. They're really lovely toys. And then finally um, is his play mat. We also got this one on, on Amazon and I like it because you can just use it as the base and we sometimes just put him on that or like I said we put that base in his swing because it's really soft and cosy. Um, and, but you can also attach the poles to it to make the play gym top so that we can attach different toys to it and he can see them. The toys that come with this aren't particularly brightly coloured. I think it's more aesthetically pleasing than the really garish ones, but as your child gets a little bit older, I think that kind of goes out the window and you just want them to have things that are brightly coloured to stimulate them. So, may not be the best one to go for in terms of um, as they get a little bit older and you need something brightly coloured, but it's really nice when they're newborns, it's very soft and cosy, um, and just really like a lovely little thing for them to lay under and just look up at the toys. And of course you can just attach toys to it anyway, um, which is what we do. So that is just about everything. There are so many more things I can mention, but for this newborn video, I had to kind of get it down to about 20 things, which is still so many. I'm sorry if this video was super long, but I hope you found it helpful in some way. Let me know if you use any of these with your newborns or if you did if they're a little bit older or if you're a new mum-to-be and you are excited about maybe trying some of these products if they're brand new to you, you've never seen them before. I'd love to know any of your comments and feedback below. If you enjoyed this, I'd really appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. It's somewhere down here along with the notification bell that will notify you whenever a new video of mine goes up. I think that's everything that I wanted to say. I will speak to you all very soon. Bye guys! <laughs>